right, so two weeks post-op, I was still in bands. That was when the pain finally started to come. And it came because my nerves had finally started to wake up. So now that I could feel stuff in my jaw, now I could feel the pain in my jaw. Like the pain, it would travel from my chin and then like through the week, it uh, I felt it in my cheeks. And then finally I felt it like in the back of my jaw. I just have to say that talking like drained me out. And I had my surgery December 12th and two weeks post-op was like around the holidays season so that was terrible because you know I was invited to all these parties and we were throwing so many parties and I just had to like talk to people and it would just drain me out. I remember New Year's just feeling like so burnt out and like I couldn't talk to any of my friends because I felt like I was just gonna fall asleep and my jaw was aching and it was the worst. Also my stitches started dissolving that week and then I had a post-op appointment with my surgeon sometime that week. I believe it was in the middle of the week and he removed my other two bands and like that was so insane because I felt like there was so much space in my mouth. Also, I could use toothpaste for this first time and it was a really messy endeavor. Combined with just like the waterfall of drool, it was like a volcano of toothpaste and spit and it was, it was great. It was a sight to behold, you should have seen it. And then three weeks post-op, like 75% of my face finally woke up. But then I think like the pain and the aching was kind of worse because now that I could feel all my face, my jaw just felt so weak. Talking absolutely freaking suck. It just felt like my jaw was made of glass. Also, sleeping was absolutely terrible. I had like a cushion thing and I was using it to sort of like sleep up straight, but three weeks I tried sort of, you know, like sleeping on my side and just like no matter what position I slept in, whether I was straight, whether I was on my side, it like my jaw just always hurt. There was really like no way to, uh, you know, make the aches go away. I mean, the way I'm talking about it may sound like I really had a lot of pain, but I, I mean, I had pain, but it wasn't unbearable pain. So even though I could have used the ibuprofen, I really didn't because it wasn't like that annoying or anything. I was still on a liquid diet at that time. I literally lived off of ice cream, yogurt, milkshakes, Trader Joe's soup, which is absolutely freaking delicious. I also lived off of a lot of protein shakes because, you know, when you're going through recovery, you do tend to lose a lot of weight. One thing that's really good if you come to the three week mark and you're starting to get cravings for like soft solid foods like I did, try pastina. It's like these little tiny star pastas and they're small enough that you can just sort of like suck them in. You barely have to chew them. And if you put like some butter in there or some avocado, oh heaven. It's delicious and it's really filling. I would say it's the best thing you can have if you are having cravings for soft solid foods. And yeah, emotionally I was doing fine. You know, there are some parts that got annoying, especially with sleeping, but like I said, I was totally fine. Ew, my coffee is cold now. So I was really lucky because when I got to the one month mark and I had a post-op appointment with my surgeon, she told me I could eat soft solid foods, which is like really amazing because usually when you're going through the recovery, it usually takes six weeks until you're ready to eat um, soft solid foods, but I just got really, really lucky. My first meal after four weeks on a liquid diet was a grilled chicken sandwich from Wendy's. And let me tell you, that first experience of me uh, chewing in the restaurant and you know being able to use all my teeth when chewing and, and just learning that I could use my front teeth to bite into stuff instead of having to grab it and tear it like I did with an underbite. It was an eye-opening experience and I'm pretty sure everyone was looking at me strangely in the restaurant being like, why is this girl enjoying her sandwich so much? What? <laughs> and once I hit like the one one month mark. I barely had any pain. Most of the sensation in my face had come back. And then by the time I hit three months, I was allowed to eat crunchy food. Although I will say I did cheat a little bit with the popcorn. I may have had it like one week before I hit my three month mark, but you know, no one's gonna know. Oh, wait a minute. I'm broadcasting it on the internet. Everyone's gonna know. You know, like between that one month and the, the three month mark, like I still drooled and stuff every now and then. Occasionally I would have pain, but like honestly, I didn't really think about it. And I still don't really think about my surgery, even though I'm still numb a little bit below my lip. Like I, again, I, I don't really think about it. I still have some swelling a little bit right here. You might not be able to see it. I notice it just because I know my face. And I do tend to break out a lot now, especially 
towards my lower jaw and on my neck because the swelling is going down. But honestly, I feel like most of the healing is over. Now it's just a slow ride until I finally get these damn braces off. It was an experience that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And really all I can say is thank you to my surgeons and the nurses that helped me get through this. I think this experience has really made me sort of a stronger person. And you know, people always ask me like, how did you do it? How did you go through all of that? I don't know, you know, it just, it just, it flew by. Recovery really isn't as bad as you think it is. That being said, you know, there, there are sort of like three tips that you really need to follow in order to make sure that your recovery is the best recovery it can possibly be. I'd say my first tip is to seriously listen to your surgeons, listen to what they're telling you. If they're telling you not to eat soft solid foods yet, don't eat soft solid foods yet. I follow a lot of double jaw surgery blogs on Instagram and when I was recovering, a couple other girls were recovering alongside with me. And I know one girl tried eating solid foods like her first week post off like tried to chew soft solid foods and her recovery only got a lot harder and she experienced pain much sooner because you know she didn't stick to the liquid diet. So just listen to your surgeons. Don't jump the gun when it comes to chewing. Also, it's really important to remember to do your research. Follow job blogs on Instagram or, you know, do what you're doing right now and watch YouTube videos. The most important thing you can do when you're recovering from this, you just have to rest. And you're gonna get antsy, obviously, but you just kind of have to find ways to cope with it. Even if it's just like, you know, one week after the surgery, like going for a little walk or inviting your friends to come over. You know, you kind of have to think about it like in the first Harry Potter book with the Devil's Snare. You know, Harry and Ron were struggling within the Devil's Snare, but Hermione just told them to relax, and when she relaxed, she got past the Devil's Snare. That is a good metaphor for what your jaw surgery recovery will be like. You just gotta relax, you just gotta rest up, it's what you gotta do. And if you rest up, I guarantee you, your recovery will be just a lot easier. My second tip, make sure there's someone with you just sort of watching you while you're going through this recovery. Recovery. The first two weeks are really the hardest, so you're just gonna want someone to be with you. Especially if you have an accident or an emergency or something, you're just gonna want to have someone who can help you. Again, I was really lucky. My mom is a physical therapist, so she was allowed to be in the hospital room with me. And she was also really supportive and she took um, a week off from her work to help me while I was recovering. Thank you, mom. Even if you just like invite a friend over from time to time to just look after you if, if you don't have anyone, it's a lot easier to recover when you have someone by your side than it is if you're just alone all the time. And my third and final tip, as my surgeon said, there are going to be many times through this recovery when you're just gonna look back and be like, what? the hell have I gotten myself into? I had so many of those moments, especially like the first three days in the hospital. The best thing you can do, and this is my best piece of advice, you just have to look at it and you just have to keep the faith and you just have to know that every day gets easier because it does. I know the recovery isn't easy for everyone, but you just kind of have to look at it and you kind of have to laugh at yourself. You just have to be strong and know that in one month's time you'll be back to your old self being all happy and you'll be able to chew again and you'll have a great jaw and really nice teeth and a nice smile. You're only a chipmunk for so long. You only have Angelina Jolie lips for so long. Just take it and just laugh at yourself and just keep yourself busy and happy and just know that every day gets easier. You just gotta keep yourself happy. You just gotta keep yourself motivated. So yeah. I guess that's the story so far. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more jaw surgery related videos, uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Also, if you have any questions or video suggestions, please leave them down in the comment box below. I would love to answer any questions you guys have about this recovery or about my underbite or what my favorite color is, like anything, seriously, ask away. Also, I have an Instagram which documents my whole jaw journey. And and if you want to know more about my recovery, you should definitely check that out. It explains things a lot better than I can explain them in this video because I am terrible at talking to a camera. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link down below. Alright guys, until next time, I hope you're doing well. I hope you all have happy, happy recoveries and I'll see you soon. Bye!